Hello guys, here's Roman from Tentech. I got a request for a tutorial on a recently uploaded short about making a low poly cannon. So here it is, enjoy it! Make sure that you have enabled the plugin loop tools because you're gonna need it in the process of creating the cannon. You can check it if you go to Edit Preferences Add-ons. Select everything with A and delete it. Add a new circle with Shift A. Reduce the vertices to 8. And go into Edit Mode with Tab. Press Ctrl F and choose Grid Fill. And scale it up a little bit. Now inset it with I. And select those two edges and make them straight by scaling them on the y-axis with S, Y, 0. Do the same for the other side. S, Y, 0. You could also do this with the plugin loop tools by pressing W, loop tools, G stretch. But the offset is a little bit different, so I'm gonna do it with the scaling. For these edges we need to do it on the x-axis, S, X, 0. Same on the opposite side, SX0, like this. Now add a loop cut with Ctrl R and apply it by hitting Escape and Enter. Do the same on the opposite side, like this. Now we can select everything with A and extrude it with E. Switch to face selection by pressing 3. Select those four faces and extrude them, like this. Extrude them once again and scale them on the x-axis, like this. I want a little bit more of an offset on the outer side, so I'm gonna select the face loop by pressing Alt and right click and scale it on X and Y by pressing S, Shift, Set like this. It would also look a little bit better if it was a little bit thicker, so I'm gonna select the downside and press G, set to move it down a little bit more, like this. Now I have a little bit too less space in the middle, so I'm gonna select the sides and scale them on the y-axis. And I also don't like how high it is. So I'm gonna scale it down a little bit by selecting the top parts, like this, and press G set, like this. It's time to add the screws which hold the cannon, so select the outer faces and press I to insert them, and press W, loop tools, circle. Scale it down so it doesn't overlap by pressing S shift Y this and hit Alt and E to extrude along the normals like this. Do it once again and scale it down with S shift Y like this. Now we are done with the base and can start with the main body of the cannon. Go out of edit mode with tab and hide the object with H. Add a new circle. Make sure it is 8 sided. Go into edit mode with tab and fill it with F. And go into side view with one on the numpad. Extrude it with E and scale it with S. And repeat this step to form the basic shape. If you want to add the golden ring on top like I did, make a small segment right here, like this, and select it by pressing Alt and right click and hit Alt and E, faces along normals to extrude it outwards, 
like this. To make it a bit more realistic, I'm gonna inset the top face and extrude it down so that we have a hole in the middle, like this. Keep in mind that you always can change the size of things afterwards by selecting the edge loops and scaling them or moving them around with G. I'm pretty happy with the shape. All that's left to add is the fuse. For that, I select the face and inset it. And to make the sides even, I use the plugin loop tools again and hit loop tool circle. Scale it down. Now it's also a little bit rotated. Extrude it, move it around a little bit, size it down, rotate it a little bit, do it again. so that you like the look. You can always change it later. I'm pretty happy with it like this. Now unhide the base of the cannon by pressing Alt and H. Select the cannon again and rotate it on the Y axis by pressing R and Y and move it around by pressing G Shift Y because we don't want to move it on the Y axis like this. I'm gonna scale up the base a little bit so that it fits. I will rotate my cannon by hitting RZZ to rotate it on the local axis like this. Scale it down a little bit. And if you're not happy with your base, you can always go back into edit mode and play around with with things a little bit more. I think this looks pretty okay. Now all that's left to do is the coloring. For that I go back into edit mode, select everything with A, go into the materials tab and switch to materials U so that we can see it in the top right here. Add a new material and make it dark gray. And I always like to up my roughness because I like that look on low poly objects. Now select every part of the model that needs to be golden. And create a new material. Hit assign and make it a goldish color. I'm gonna up the metallic factor of this. Like that. And I copy the color, so that's the same one on the base. Select the base, add a new material, make it brown.
and I increase the roughness too. Go into edit mode with tab and select the parts that need to be golden. Add a new material and hit assign and copy in the color that you used before like this and increase the metallic value too. You could also just choose the material that you created before and assign it so that it's really the same one. I just realized that I forgot the fuse. I'll quickly go into edit mode and select it. And I create a new material. Assign it and make it brownish too. I want mine to be a little bit a lighter color like this. Maybe a little bit more dark. Like this. I also think it's a little bit too long, so I will adjust it even more. This looks better to me. Now for the rendering there's a separate video, I will link it in the description. So you can make a basic render setup to get a beautiful low poly render. That's it for this tutorial. Thank you for watching, I hope you liked it and we're gonna see us next time. Goodbye!